time live okay so we have a little bit of natural light coming in i tried my best to not have a whole bunch of lines on my face but it's the best i can do so today as i said i am working on i don't know what order i'm putting these in but i'm working on my job anxiety and you know the best way to work on anxiety is to be prepared so one of the steps of course is your interview makeup so this is going to be real real simple but first and foremost i need to moisturize my face oh i thought that was one of my braids but it's the shirt okay so i'm putting the facial spray on because my face is dry 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 putting a little, little bit of the fresh sugar balm on I think I'm gonna do a try the rose oil I have a little extra you have to be careful not to put too much because then it gets a little bit gooby in the center but I'm using this B Essence rose oil. It came in, um, it came in a like little, what do you call those? One of those subscription boxes. But I got it through the O Magazine subscription. Oh, this smells delightful. The B Essence company, though. I think I have a bigger oil in the back. It's expensive. So, you know, I just thought I'd try the smaller one first. In case I don't like it, then I could give the bigger one to somebody else who might like it. I know rose in general is supposed to be moisturizing. Oh, this has vitamin C in it. That's perfect, because I've been wanting more vitamin C in my skin routine again. So I might start using this rose one more. It's very, very light. The thing that I like about facial oils is, like, you can use it any season. You can use a couple of drops if you just want to use it in the summer. And then for winter, I usually, like, double up on the amount of drops. And then you really get your face. You don't want it greased down though, because I am going to wear makeup. But if you're not wearing makeup, you can get it greased down, and by the time you hit the harsh winds, you'll be good. <clears throat> but yeah, I used about five drops, I would say. My nails are not good right now because I haven't been taking my hair, skin, and nail vitamins. I have all types of lights on, but it's not helping because this natural light's like, let me see you. <laughs> Hold on. Okay. So, you could go either one of two ways, but usually I assume if I was going to interview, I don't got time to do anything too much because I'll be shaking and the like. So, right now I'm just dousing this sponge in facial spray. You could use water, of course. And then I'm using the Shea Moisture CC Cream. I think this is in Walnut. Oh, medium. I have something in Walnut. I don't know. Let me get my Narcissist palette because the mirror is gigantic and lovely. And without glasses, I am no good to anybody. So, of course, you would let your skin... Soak in your oils for about five minutes or so. Go do something else, like put on clothes or something. <laughs> um, should have brought a tissue, but don't have one. Honey. You can also use primer, but I feel like unless you're using like a pore filling primer for winter. You don't really need a primer unless it's like pore filling or moisturizing. And I feel like my personal preference 
is to look as much as me as possible. You can also go bare faced. I feel like there's nothing wrong with going to work without makeup. <laughs> but in case you want to look like, you know, you put in a little bit of effort, you know, here's me with a little bit of extra oomph. My eyes look great in the sun. Anyway, <laughs> nothing wrong complimenting yourself. I'm not putting too much on my forehead because I do have an interview wig. Also, there's nothing wrong with wearing your natural hair to an interview. I just feel like it requires more work. And I'm not really much of a hair person, which we've established many a time. my eyes get you know scabs in the corner so never mind me I always have a tissue on my desk I don't know what I'm doing so I put on a very light amount as you see I use like a teaspoon size you can use more what I like about this light if you do it in very good light you can see what you'd look like outside and I feel like with the oil and the BB cream my skin has a very good glow and then it won't look too dried out once I'm outside um, you can put a little bit of powder or something down before you start I might use like a regular face powder I don't do baking and all that because I don't think baking is good for dry skin I do do light powder sometimes but I'm saying for the eyelids since I do have powder all over my face you know you don't want your um eyeshadow to be sliding or looking funny so I use a little bit this is supposed to be translucent but it's kind of has like a soft tint to it soft custard and it's cinema secret soft custard <laughs> that way I can modify my eyelids a little bit without it being too obvious or without it like having any influence on the color because if you're going for a soft look you don't want to put anything too stark because you don't want it to contrast too much to your skin or too dark to transform the colors unless of course you want to transform the colors okay and then you can put some more powder wherever you normally get unbelievably greasy <laughs> which for me is just like the t-zone area but I don't put too too much because like I said the oil is giving some luminosity so and this is, doesn't highlight or anything that's what I like about it it gives some brightness but it's not like highlighting brightness to like oh you know there's something there you know. I like more of a natural look there's some times where I want to go like a little bit artsy with things but I don't feel like interviews is that time. Now, if you have a creative job, then you might want to show that side. For every day, like office, office things. I'm not doing corporate because that would require a whole new wardrobe. But, <laughs> you know. For the more business-y kind of things. Okay, so I have two colors that I thought would be awesome and it is scented candle and tree hugger these are the Sephora eyeshadows so I'm going to put tree hugger in my crease it's just like a soft brown really you can look on the website and see if it has a descriptor because some of these colors it seems like they're going out of stock I don't know if Sephora is bringing like a new type of collection or whatever because I've been seeing it on sale so 
I don't know. These particular colors I couldn't find at the time that I wanted them, so I got them on eBay. But be sure to look around because when certain things are no longer available, people make sure to get their profit. Which I don't knock the hustle, but you know, if you're shopping on a budget like me, <laughs> you gotta make sure they don't hustle you too hard. <laughs> I love this brush. This is the Sonia Kashuk 109. It like changed my blending in the crease game. I'm not saying my game is spectacular, but it changed it. This has sort of a. It's not a sheen. What is that? Um, this glitter satin finish. There you go. Now, your choice of colors may vary depending on your skin tone, even depending on your undertones. So, if you try these colors and they're too stark for you, I'm not an expert in anything but my own face. So, Then I'm going to put scented candle on my lid. Whoa, dude. Let me use my little handy dandy tool I got. The color switch by Sephora. Little sponge number here. I need to wash all of my things soon. The only reason I haven't, I can't find this dropped so I just took out the piece I cannot find my brush soap this is like a really <sighs> beigey color like a tan it's not even tan beige it's like a pink brown but more of a like quiet pink brown so you won't even really see it on my lid. I feel like if you're a lot lighter, you'll get more of an effect. But like I said, this is supposed to be understated. So that's why I chose it. That's why I bought it. Now when it hits the sun, you'll see a little bit something. Like it'll have a little bit of an interest, but... It won't be anything too crazy. Like, basically, it won't look like you just have dead eyes. You know? It's like, oh, she does have something on her eyes. It looks nice, but it's not too much. You know? I'm trying to get it close to my lash line, because... I don't know. I always have problems with there being like no shadow there. <laughs> I haven't really been lining my top lashes that much, honestly. A lot of people don't feel like their eyeshadow is complete unless they do that, and that's fine. I just don't really do that anymore. I do the bottom, but I don't do the top. Now you might be like, what did she do? Because <laughs> you can't see nothing. And that's fine. <laughs> okay, um. We got, no, that's a lip liner. Do, 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 do. I have my blue ones out. Okay, I guess I'm using my... Well, I don't know how I'm going to use it because this looks like it's broken. This is a slate gray color that looks like it's past its time because it's super soft. But we're just going to pretend it's a dark brown color for the purpose of this video. 
and see if it does anything. Mm. And I usually come up into the inner corner because I feel like it defines my eye. The funny part about this is supposed to be like this is the Physician's Formula Shimmer Strips, but I feel like the gray one isn't really all that like glittery, so I use it normal. And I forgot to do my brows. Why did none of you tell me? I feel like your brows are an essential part of everything. never find anything. I was about to say my brow brush, but the correct answer would be anything. I can never find anything. <laughs> oh, sidetrack. The Mon Guerlain. Mon by Guerlain. Oh my gosh. So wonderful. Anyway, um, that would be a great interview perfume. I feel like it's light enough. I can't find my br Hold on, I'll be... I can't even pause this. I forgot I've done this on the live type of way. I need the brush to brush up my brows so I can do them really quick. I put it where I can see and then I didn't realize I put it where I could see it. Wonderful. Then my really quick to do eyebrow thing is the brow and define the brow define and fill by Maybelline. I also use if I'm doing extra I use both. I use this and the milk gel brow and Pilsner. Don't know where it is, but I wasn't gonna use it for this anyway. So you see here, most of it is already full. That's my natural brow. And then over here, I usually need some help. And then put the face up. And then just so this doesn't feel too lonely i might add a little bit at the end but i really like to add some to the front I'm trying to be in the right light because if you're not in the right light with this you'll end up with everything looking too dark that's why i like the pilsner one because it's kind of a brown gray and it's really good for like in the center it being dark on the outside edges is fine because it gives it some definition and I will use the powder sometimes I don't use the powder in too much so if you're doing something quick it all depends on what your brows naturally look like see it's easy to get it together then I'll use that powder again like I said, we're going for things that look natural and use it on the tip of the beauty sponge. And then you can just blend it. Brush, 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 and brush it up some more. Mm -hmm. And then, if you want to go even more, because you know, do have dark spots here, 
but it's not like I'm wearing contacts or anything. My glasses cover it usually. <clears throat> but for that, I like to use the Maybelline Master Cameo. Then I will just wet the end of the beauty sponge. Use that color that's close for me. It'll do a light conceal. Like if what you want to cover is super dark. I don't know that it would actually do it too well. So. And this would be good to put under the eye area anyway. Just to make sure that, you know, powder and the like didn't make on the hair darker than it needs to be. Now you might say, well, you know, you you put powder there already or are you putting concealer over it but that's why I wet the sponge and you keep tapping then it doesn't mess up too bad well it doesn't mess up at all as long as you're blending it properly but that's for my skin type wetting the sponge leaves the surface blendable then I'll put a little bit around the mouth cause you know that gets dark and you're doing this with something that is the color <laughs> of your face not something lighter <laughs> cause oh shoot <laughs> ow that hurt I squeeze the living daylights out of my finger okay done with that now for blush I would use a mauve blush if your darker skin a red blush can actually work marvelously because it gives an awesome glow <laughs> like for my mother's skin oh my gosh the red looked good on me but on her it looks like it was made for her i would use either the mauve one or the orange but i think the mauve would give a great blushed look very flushed and natural need a little bit more for this side and then Now if you want a bronze, you can bronze. I don't have a bronzer out. I don't feel like it's always necessary. Um, of course, it being winter, you could do one of your lighter bronzers. Because you might feel a little pale. I'm not too pale today. Um, I have a couple of colors that could work. If I want to put on just a gloss. Which one is it? I want to do something different. So I'll use the Kirsten lip gloss, but I was thinking if you just want to put on a regular plain gloss, the Sugar Sugar and Enamored gives you a little bit of a sheen. That'll work wonderfully. I also have my favorite lipstick, Milky Way from, I keep forgetting who it's from. This is Bare Minerals, I believe. I think it's Bare Minerals. 
but this one has like a good moisturizing oh laura mercier it's a like cream creamy lippy let's see what the i don't remember what this one looks like um that might be too pinky for me i'll do something different because normally I'd go with more of a brown. I can go with a pinky number. Just try to make it not too like bright. This is not bad. <laughs> It doesn't smell good, and I know it's not because it's expired, because it's one of my new lipsticks. It just doesn't have a good smell, but. With these kind of things, I usually smooth them on with my finger. Remember to wipe your finger off. And with this one to also exfoliate so it's like a natural pink nude and this one is I said Kirsten lip gloss by Anastasia so it's more of a like flushed natural eye etc now you can use some lashes to really bring it out um, honestly, if I was on a going to an interview, that would take too long. <laughs> I've only worn lashes maybe twice. <laughs> so we're going to do The Shock by Yves Saint Laurent. Bring out the big guns. This is wet. Just know that. I do like it though. It just takes some work to actually get it the way you want to without it like looking clumpy. But I do feel it makes your lashes look wonderful. And it smells good, not that that really matters. Cause you're not like, it's gonna wear off. See, tell me my lashes don't look amazing girl <laughs> girl well, I ain't buying this no time soon though cause I bought a few of um like a little set of different designer mascaras cause that's the way I get to try them out in a sample set but I dig this heavy This is the only mascara that I'll actually like blink into because I feel like that's how you get the um, full effect. You just got to be careful because it'll mess up your eyes a little bit. But yeah, it's a totally sexy mascara, and I don't know how you define a sexy mascara, but if there was one, it'll be this. <laughs> so I'm going to put a little bit more of the scented candle on just because like I said the mascara messes it up a little bit
okay um sometimes regardless of what makeup i'm doing because i wear glasses and the inside of my eye naturally gets like dark i put a little bit of something in here so let me see can't remember how this looks yeah i'll use this light one here what color i don't know what color that is um I don't know how to read this. Watch me, I think. And this is in the Narcissist Unfiltered Wand Palette. And basically, it'll just show up a tad bit golden. But on me, I don't think it shows up too much. It'll just bring some light there. And I'm using this very tapered end. And I don't want too, too much because I don't want to look like you have, you know, mucus in the corner of your eye or anything. I just don't want it to be like full on darkness there either. So I'm trying to blend it as much as possible. Okay. And if you want to, you can bring a little bit down here and blend it out just a little bit. Add some brightness in your life. Now for I wouldn't use a stark highlighter for doing this cuz like I said you're going to an interview you're not going out to party but there's nothing wrong with some light in your life you just have to use the right highlighter so you'd use a subtle highlighter actually for the cheeks and nose I don't know I, I think a light hand with whatever you're using but I for my skin tone I'd use something golden so it looks more natural and for this I think I even have on too much blush for me personally I use this powder to calm it down I have a sample for the life of me I don't know which powder this is so I'm gonna be upset when it's done but I just use a powder that is my skin tone and if the NARS blush whatever color I'm using gets to be too much I just brush it with the color that is my skin tone and that calms it down. And then you could just put that you want your face to have color so then I'm done and I'll we can go in the bathroom and I could get my wig and I know this is a little long but decided to do a talkie video so and there we go oh my knees is killing me I think I'm 500 years old <laughs> I'm not editing this video so here's what it looks like see it looks much better in the light I feel like I look nice and refreshed but not overdone and I feel like what I did let me wash my hands what I did would take maybe 15 minutes if you're not like talking about anything you can skip the highlighting stuff the inner corner part is just like something extra you don't really need it and like I said, very lightly done because you really, really, really aren't trying to look like you're going to a party afterwards. And I know the Mavi blush gives a wonderful glow. 
but I feel like I have on a little too much. That happens sometimes. I usually use the really small stippling brush because the narcissist palette can really overtake you if you let it. Now, if I remember which one I designed, I designated to be my interview with, that would be great. I think I found it. I'm going to put on my glasses in a minute because heaven only knows I can't see. Okay, so my interview rig is from Sister Wigs. It's called Nari, and it's a pre tweezed part Swiss lace, etc. etc. It's a 99J, which, like, is a, is a burgundy, but I feel like it's not like an outlandish color. It's a color, so you have a little bit of something, something, but I don't feel like it's audacious or anything. I think you can get away with like a wine color. At least that's how I feel. You could correct me if I'm wrong. Oh no. <laughs> like I said, I'm not here to look like an expert. I'm just trying some things out. So. <clears throat> Put it to the side. Ooh. I have my stocking cap a little too far in front of my forehead. I already have powder on my part from the last time I was playing around with this. I haven't, I haven't worn it out yet. Cause like I said, I bought it specifically for an interview. It's not an everyday kind of wig for me. You have to be careful with the part though, because especially if you have a stocking cap under it, just so. You can't see the line of the stocking cap where it ends and a little bit <sighs> annoyed with wearing lip gloss because it's going to stick to my hair. I feel like this looks very natural. It's like black permed hair. Or even natural straight hair, because my hair straightened <laughs> looks quite a bit like this. <laughs> a little less volume. My hair has a little less volume when they put all that oils in there after they straighten it. <laughs> but it's very similar. So it just, it looks afro textured in general, I should say. Like straight afro textured hair, whether that be straight or permed. I feel like permed hair. <clears throat> might be a little bit flatter depending on who it is but yeah I feel like this looks super natural and unless like you're all up in my hairline you won't even really know that it's not mine so there's the makeup portion Anyway, gonna try on some outfits, try to get that done, and 
hopefully upload that sometime this week. But I thank you for watching. I will see you tomorrow, hopefully. Hoping to get these outfits done today. Because then I would have wasted putting on all this makeup. The whole point, like, you do the hair and the makeup, try on the outfits to see what goes with this look, what fits properly, what fits comfortably, etc., etc. Also, one of the things I feel like you need is, like, the flower petals for, you know, your nipples, maybe some fashion tape, depending on what you're wearing. But for winter, you might not need the fashion tape. And for this wig... I feel like you definitely need to have your hair braided because last time it was bumpy now it looks like perfect okay bye thanks for watching